Hey everyone, Nathan from Elegant Themes here. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you a basic overview of the extra theme by Elegant Themes. If you need more detail on any one element or aspect, please see our full extra theme documentation and or our YouTube channel playlist titled Extra Tutorials, where you will find many other videos and written resources that go into full detail about all of Extra's features. So to get started, what is Extra and why did we build it? Extra is a powerful blogging theme for WordPress that is perfect for anything from a standard solo blog to a massive multi-author online magazine or newspaper. So we built Extra to be the natural complement to our flagship theme, Divi, which is perfect for nearly any type of website that is not blog driven, even though it is still more than capable of being a good blogging theme in its own right. That said, with Extra, we wanted to create a theme that took the full power of the Divi Builder and made it especially useful for content creators. Something that gave bloggers unprecedented control over their content layouts. Something that empowered them to create one-of-a-kind blog posts, as well as something that covered all the familiar bases, such as standard blog posts, ratings, reviews, related posts, and multiple methods of featuring site authors. I'm happy to report that Extra comes with all of these things and a lot more. To show you just how much more, I think it's probably best to simply walk you through the main extra menu in the WP Admin. Okay, so when we click on Extra in the WP Admin, we get the following options below it. Theme Options, Theme Customizer, Module Customizer, Role Editor, Divi Library, and Category Builder. So what I'm going to do is just walk through each one of these things and show you what's um, available under each option. Now I'm not going to go in to great detail or great depth on each one of these because uh, we already have videos and we already have documentation on every element individually. What I'm hoping to do is just give you a quick overview uh, that helps give you an idea of what's possible with this theme and what settings and configurations um, you're going to be expected to do or be able to do. All right, so in theme options, we have general settings, navigation, layout settings, ad management, SEO, integration, and support docs. So under general settings, uh, we're able to enter in our logo, favicon, and adjust what's called the global accent color. So this is the um, accent color that is sort of like your default accent color, even though there's a lot of options all over the site to add your own accent colors here and there, this will be the one that all of those default to um, until you give it something custom. You can also choose to enable or disable your fixed navigation. You have several sidebar options here, all the way from your sidebar location, your WooCommerce sidebar location, uh, which sidebars uh, are default sidebars, and also, um, Below that, we get into social networks. So we can have a uh, follower count refresh rate, which uh, icon, social icons are enabled on your homepage. Here you can choose which social icons that you give your information to to have appear that people can follow. So this these icons will appear in the header or the footer here and here. And finally, down below, we have a few more things that you can turn on or off, such as um, excerpts, responsive short codes, Google fonts, back to top button, smooth scrolling, and finally, custom CSS. Okay, moving on to navigation. In navigation, you're able to uh, turn certain menu and navigation settings on or off for pages, categories, and general settings. Under layout settings, we're able to turn on or off metadata for single posts, single pages, and general settings. In ad management, you have options to add or enable um, ads in the header, below the header, footer, above post, and below post. SEO, we have a number of SEO options for homepage, single post, and index page. Um, integration is a great place to enable and insert code snippets or um, scripts. You can add those to your header, body, uh, single top code, or single bottom code. And finally, there's a link to our support under support docs where you can read all of the extra documentation. Okay, next thing under the extra menu here on the sidebar is Theme Customizer. 
So the extra theme customizer is the basically the same thing as uh, the customize option under appearance. However, the only difference is, I mean, it'll show up the exact same either place you click. Um, but the difference with extra is that we've baked a lot of extra specific settings into here so that we can take a uh, really good advantage of uh, this preview mode um, and the editing style here. So we have general settings, header navigation settings, footer settings, buttons, social media networks, site identity, background image, menus, widgets, and static front page. All of these things you're able to quickly and easily adjust the settings for without getting into any code and seeing changes instantly in your preview panel here. So under general settings, you can adjust everything from your layout, your typography, your background. Under header and navigation, we can uh, make changes to our header format very quickly, very easily. Under footer settings, we can change our layout, typography, footer elements, and bottom bar. So literally every element of this section down here, you can edit in some way. Next up, we have buttons. So any uh, buttons, particularly the read more buttons that you'll find in your blog feeds, these are easily changeable um, here in button styles and button hover styles. Social media networks. So once again, just like in the other section, the uh, uh, theme options, you're able to add your URLs to all of these social networks and have them appear either in the top bar or the bottom bar of the website. <clears throat> Next, we have site identity, which is just your title, tagline, and favicon. Background image, menus, widgets, and static front page. All of this stuff is adjustable from right here inside the theme customizer. So let's back out of this. If you want more information, we have a great theme customizer video that walks through all of these settings individually. And back in the extra, so we did theme options, theme customizer. Now let's check out the module customizer. So the module customizer, what it does is it gives you the ability to select any of our modules and make adjustments that will be that affect site wide. So anytime that modules in use on the site, um, any change that you make here will affect all of those modules in place. So every gallery module, if I change the title font size here, it'll change it anywhere on the site include, and it'll uh, be the new default settings if I add a new one anywhere. So that holds true for all of these uh, modules. Okay, next up, we have the role editor. So this is uh, a feature of Divi that we included in Extra, and it's the Divi role editor uh, here. So everybody that you add to your website will either be, um, well, someone who has access to the back end anyway, will be administrator, editor, author, contributor, shop manager. We've given you fine tooth controls over everything that they could possibly have access to and you can turn these features on or off with the click of a button. Everything from builder interface to library settings, settings tab, setting types, module use, all of these things you can adjust with a quick click to enable or disable their access to it. And that holds true for editor, author, contributor, or shop manager. All right, moving along to Divi Library. So the Divi Library is where you can store um, either full layouts or modules that you or sections that you've built. So probably the best way to show you what I mean by that is to just jump in here to the Category Builder. So if I'm in the Category Builder and let's open up one of the set, one, my home page layout that I've built. What I can do here is I can save this whole layout to the library, which I have actually done. And if I can load a uh, layouts from that library. So here's my library. I can load this layout that I've saved. Uh, there's also predefined layouts here. And what this allows me to do is anytime I have a section, row, or module, or full layout that I like, 
I can save it to the library. So let's say I really like this section. I want to be able to add it to another page or another layout in this case. Save and add to library right here. And that'll make it something that I can then click on this, add from library, and I'll have access to. So modules and sections, I can pull it from here. Full layouts, I can pull up from here. All right, so wh what are we in right now? We're in the category layout builder. So extra category builder. Uh, what is the category builder? So the category builder is something unique to extra. The entire point of the category builder is to give content creators really unprecedented flexibility and power in how they display their content uh, by category. So uh, there's a number of different modules within the category builder that make it a really special um, form of the Divi builder. So instead of the normal set of modules, here we have ads, blog feed masonry, blog feed standard, code, featured post slider, image, posts, post carousel, tab posts, and text. We can use these to create really unique layouts and it's all arranged by category. So when I go into the post module setting, for example, the first thing under general settings is categories and I can choose to select all, a combination of categories or current category. So why would I wanna select current category and what exactly does that mean? So let's say I wanna build a layout or I want this module to display for multiple categories. So I have uh, two categories, one called stories and one called case studies, and I want both of them to use the same module. So what I'll do is I'll set this to current category, and then it will only display um, on the post for whichever category the user clicks on. So it's a really important setting. It's something that as soon as you get familiar with it, you're going to love uh, the possibilities that the current category opens up to you. Also over here, under the category builder, a couple pretty essential things to highlight. Under layout usage, we can select a layout to be our homepage layout. And so in this case, this magazine style layout that I've built, this is my homepage layout. So you can see it right here. And I have other layouts that I've, one other that I've determined is my default. And basically it's just a really simple blog feed standard, just one, one section, one row, one column, or one uh, module rather. And all it does is um, display a standard feed and that is what is assigned to any category that doesn't have um, another layout assigned to it specifically. Okay, so those are the basic elements of the extra theme. Um, as far as its menu goes, but there are some other things you might want to know about extra, particularly just some of the basic actions that you'd want to take. So, uh, such as creating extra project custom post types or extra e-commerce stores or extra pages and especially extra blog posts. So let's take those one at a time. So the next thing I want to cover with you in this overview is the extra projects custom post type. So this is a custom post type that we've built that allows you to create an online portfolio. So we've made it so that when you use a page template called portfolio page, it is automatically populated with any project post type that you create and publish. So here is a project that I've created called spices. I've got some text here. Um, I've got a feature image. I've got a gallery. And on the front end, we can see it right here in my portfolio page. And there's really, there's nothing design wise that you need to configure here. Um, it's all standard. It's how we've set it up. All you have to do on your page for your portfolio page is choose the page template, portfolio page template. And I'll show you that in just a, uh, a few minutes. And like I said, anytime you update or rather publish a portfolio item, a project using the project post type, it will populate your portfolio page. 
All right, let's talk about e-commerce. So you wanna shop on your site, it's super easy with Extra. All you need to do is download and install WooCommerce. WooCommerce comes with an incredibly simple startup wizard. Uh, it just walks you step-by-step step through the essential things. It installs all the most important pages for you. Um, when it's done, all you really need to do to get things to start working well with um, with Extra is add some products. So you'd go to products, add products. I've already added several here, so I can just open one up and show you. Enter in all of your basic information here, title, post information, product category, product tags, feature image, price, product details and data, as well as your short product description. And when you publish it on the front end, you get a beautiful product that you didn't have to style or design any of this, but it shows up gorgeously on your extra website. You can also use our builder to create really unique shop layouts. So we've created a a shop here that is within a builder page. And while this is extremely basic as far as a builder page goes, it has all of the ability to expand um, with any number of our modules that you have at your disposal. Okay, so now let's talk pages. To add pages, obviously, uh, if you're familiar with WordPress, you just go to pages, add new. I've got several pages in here, so I don't really need to add any more, but I can open one up, such as builder page here, and show you what's possible. So we can always use the default editor here, but if we don't wanna use the default editor and we wanna use the Divi Builder, we just select that, and then we have the ability to create these really amazing, interactive, gorgeous, long pages or short pages with a Divi Builder with just the modules that we want to achieve our design. If we wanted to use or create a standard page such as this one, we'll have a normal looking page here, but we can quickly change any of our pages up using page templates. So here's a standard page, right sidebar on the front end just looks like this. But using our page attributes meta box, I can come in here and change the template. Uh, Extra comes with eight different possibilities. So we have the default template and then authors, blog feed page, contact page, member page, portfolio page, sitemap, or timeline. And all I need to do is just update this template and update the post and I can transform the page. Instead of doing that, I'll just show you my pre-made page templates here. So let's check out the authors page. So this features all the authors that I have on the website right now. I can show you the blog feed page. It's just a great standard blog feed page. contact page member page so the member page it will show like this when you're already logged in when you're not logged in it'll show up as um, three spaces here for username password and the login button portfolio page we already saw but I'll show it to you again Sitemap, Timeline, which I really like this page template. Um, so it's sort of like an archive of all your content and it has this really great timeline over here on the side. So as you scroll down, it kind of goes with you. Love it. Okay. 
Moving on to right sidebar, left sidebar, true scene, and full width. And then obviously we have the option to create builder pages. All right, so that is a kind of a basic overview of pages on Extra. Now let's talk about blog posts. I mean, this is a uh, theme for content creators. So what kind of stuff is possible with our blog post? Obviously, we've seen that we can create these beautiful uh, magazine uh, style layouts. We can also create really basic layouts that are still nonetheless very stylish and, and visually stunning. But what's possible within the post? So a normal post is just going to look something like this. This is going to be the standard style of a post. So uh, title and metadata up here, uh, rating score, all that information here. Feature image will display like this. And then we'll just go down and have a very, like I said, standard blog post formatting. But this is literally just the tip of the iceberg of what's possible. Because of what we're able to do with the Divi Builder within posts, there's just all this potential for amazing, visually stunning blog posts. And I want to jump over for a second into our uh, another install here of Extra where we've created some really amazing blog posts. And I'll just walk you through some of these. So this one's called A Guide to Spices. And you can see right away that using the Divi Builder, we've been able to redo the heading of this post so that the title and the metadata is over top of the feature image. We have all kinds of different typography settings going on here, different elements at play, and creates just this gorgeous long long scrolling, long form post here. Lots of visuals, lots of information. It's interactive. It's doing all kinds of cool stuff. So this is going to allow you to create the types of posts that you're really not going to be seeing on many other blogs. Um, and you can create every post as simply or as complex as you would like. And in addition to uh, the standard and the builder posts, we uh, Extra comes with several other formats already styled. So there's different types of formats that you can use, such as if you're in your post editor and you scroll down on the right side, you have the format option here. Now we've styled video, audio, quote, gallery, link, and map. All these are possible with extra, and you don't really have to do anything to achieve them. When you select one of these, you're going to get some extra uh, meta boxes down here to fill in some information. So if I select video, I get a place to put a video link. Same for audio, quote, gallery, link, and map. All of these, standard through the bottom of them, it's going to have a review box where you can enter in review content um, just like this. So this is a short film that I wanted to share with my readers and share my review of. And on the feature image, we have a review bar that goes across and shows the score. We have a place for content, and I can use the builder in here. If I want to use the builder underneath them, that's a possibility. So that really opens up a ton of options as well. And down here at the bottom, you'll see that I have my title, different categories that I wanted to offer various levels of scoring in, as well as an average of, of those scores for my final, and a summary. Additionally, every post is going to come with a section down here at the bottom for sharing and rating. So the rating system is great because it allows uh, anyone who's reading your blog to interact with you in a really uh, quick, easy way. And it kind of it gives them a quick, easy way to kind of get started interacting with you. And it shows you that people are interacting with your content. Even if not everybody's leaving a comment, they're probably more likely to leave a post rating. Bottom line, with Extra, you're going to able to create posts and layouts and in general just a site experience a content rich experience that you're not able to get with any other theme
and that's what makes Extra really special, and that's what makes us really excited to get this out there. If you need more information about Extra or any part of the theme that we went over that you wanted more information on, again, check out the documentation, check out the YouTube channel, Elegant Themes, and we have a playlist called Extra Tutorials where we go over every major element of the theme and in detail, and you can find that information um, very easily. Uh, in fact, if you'd like to go to our demo site, you can click the demo button on this screen, or you can subscribe to Extra Tutorials and make sure that you never miss a great tip. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.